Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you and your loved ones are staying safe amidst this spike in Omicron cases. We actually had a surge in Omicron cases at work, so now we have like the flexibility of working from home for the next few weeks or so. Which is nice considering that I usually spend around 2 hours a day driving back and forth between work, especially now that I can use those 2 hours to get other things done. That said, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please do consider subscribing because that helps me continue with this channel and perhaps may one day allow me to quit my 9 to 5 job to work on this channel full time. So any support from you guys is definitely appreciated. Also, I think I forgot to ask in previous videos, but now that the year 2022 has officially started, let me know what your goals are for this year, both typing related and non-typing related. I really want this community that we're building here to be a growth and support oriented community as much as it is a typing one. So let's push each other towards improving ourselves each and every day. Anyways, if you do remember from the last video, I said that on average, my typing speed is better when I'm using a desk setup versus when I'm say laying down, which is what I was doing in my previous videos. So based on today's video, I'd say that my argument was technically correct for the most part. I didn't quite match my top speed on this account, which is 115.4 words per minute, but I did get 115 words per minute, which is close enough in my opinion. I also did get my best daily session average speed of 101.8 words per minute, which honestly is a better performance measure metric than just like the top speed. I am noticing in the more recent videos that I'm actually scoring in the 100s consistently and now slowly close to the 105 to 110 range even more. The main factor I think that's dropping my average a bit is the random one time runs where I completely blow the test and get a lot of errors which I think I can minimize moving forward. So usually these one time random tests where I mess up completely they usually occur if I I f like I get distracted by something nearby or if my hands start feeling a bit tired. So if you watch towards the end of this video closely for instance, you'll see a few back to back slower than normal runs. And the reason for that is because I didn't have my seat to desk leveling properly set up and so my left hand was just feeling worn out at that point. So I think if I can resolve that leveling issue that should push my average close to the 105 to 110 range. Another issue I think that I struggle with is that when I put myself in the zone for like say the 10 to 15 minutes of practice, I find myself not blinking at all, which leads to a buildup of fluid in my eyes. And not only does that bother my eyes, but it also increases the chance of like visibility issues, which in turn leads to more chances of typing errors. So to combat that moving forward, I think I'll start taking a few breaks in between runs just so that my eyes don't get strained as I continue with the practice tests. Also, from this video on and for future videos, I'll be showing a chart of my typing speed across all the attempts I've done throughout time at the end of each video just to keep you guys up to date on my full picture of the progress. So it'll be a good way of demonstrating the fact that progress is indeed non-linear and that you'll have days where your performance takes a beating only to then shoot up again a few days later. I actually saw a picture that represented this uh, idea on LinkedIn today. So I'll show that here on the screen for you guys to see that as well. But it's pretty much the same concept. Okay, so let's get to the actual good stuff. I want to do my first typing challenge or game uh, or whatever you guys want this upcoming weekend. It can be anything like playing on sites like NitroType or Type Racer, or it can be something like a time challenge where I have some time limit to type out some excerpt, like say uh, the Declaration of Independence or anything like that. So if you have any suggestions or ideas, please comment them down below and I'll see what I can do. I'm curious to read what you guys have to offer. All right, as we bring this session to a close, Here's the updated chart of my progress across this journey. As you can see, I'm steadily making newer highs and lower lows, and my average speed is moving upward, which is great to see. 
this is a reminder to me and to all of you that it is extremely important to not get hung up on one single terrible run. If you do perform, perf if you do perform poorly on one single run, it's not the end of the world. The most important statistic here is, in my opinion, it's your average. Uh, if you have 99 runs with 100 words per minute and one single run with 80 words per minute, that 80 words per minute is an outlier and, and rare to happen. It does show a few issues you may need to get better at tackling, but it does not represent like a failure or downward trajectory in your progress journey whatsoever. So if you do experience failed attempts, which you're bound to do, definitely learn from your mistakes and plan better strategies for resolving the causes of those mistakes in future runs. Alright, that wraps it up for this video. If you do like this content and find it useful, please don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you want to be notified of future content, please hit the notification bell as that will tell you exactly when I make any upload. That said, I'll see you guys in the next video and until next time, take care.